So what you saw there was me pairing my iPhone 4S to the Soundfreak. This is a stunning speaker dock for the iPhone or the iPad and you can use it either with your device docked on the 30 pin dock connector or you can use the included little rubber cover to pop over the dock connector and you can leave that on the device all the time and stream your music over Bluetooth to this little speaker unit. This is a stunning design. Let me just pop my iPhone down there for a moment. We've got controls here for um, uh, equalizer. Sorry, these aren't controls. These are, are, are lights for the equalizer being switched on, uh, something being docked, something being connected via Bluetooth, and also an auxiliary input as well, which lives around the back of the unit. We've also got a power on LED here. This flashes as you saw when you're pairing the device. And then we've got some touch sensitive buttons here for pairing, skipping tracks backwards and forwards, uh, playing and pausing, which you just heard there. I can set something playing again or pause. And then we've got volume up and down on the unit as well. Then we've got a main uh, power button here. This isn't touch sensitive, this is an actual clicky button. And then we've got a little tiny remote, which will just set off to the side here. And this gives you access to all of the main controls. It's only a tiny remote. This is probably the only letdown in the system. It's just very cheap and tacky, but it does do the job. We've got little sort of um, push buttons here for power on and off, skipping tracks, playing and pausing, volume, muting, that equalizer, and also selecting the source that's being played through the speaker. Now the sound quality is absolutely fantastic. Let me just grab my uh, iPhone again and see if I've got something on here that is not necessarily going to be flagged for copyright. Um, let me have a look. We've got some podcasts. Let's play a tiny bit of This Week in Tech. I'm sure that Leo Laporte won't mind this. And you get to hear the quality. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for This Week in Tech is provided by the new Winamp for Android, featuring wireless sync and one click iTunes import. Now with free daily music downloads and full length CD listening parties. Download it for free at winamp.com slash Android. Video bandwidth for Twit is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Twit. This week in tech, episode 323, recorded October 16th, 2011. There's an app in my lap. And there you go. That gives you an idea of the sound quality. Absolutely fantastic. The actual build quality of the unit is really good as well. It's nice and solid. We've got this cloth grille on the front. Uh, the design, absolutely love the design. It's sort of this sort of chinned design at the bottom there with some really useful controls and LED feedback. I mentioned one of the negatives uh, really was just this cheap remote. I suppose the only other negative is that it does collect a lot of dust. It's this high gloss black. But you can forgive it that because it's ultimately very useful. You can dock an iPad, an iPad 2 on there, you can dock your iPhone or iPod Touch on there and it plays back beautifully. But it's got that added uh, flexibility of being able to play back via Bluetooth. So you can just have this in your hand as the controller and you can fire across your tunes to the Sound Freak with ease. The price isn't too high either. You're going to pay round about £130 for this in the UK, so £130. Or if you're in the US, around about $180. I think that's a fair price for a good quality piece of kit. So I hope you enjoyed my review of the Sound Freak. Please do check out the video description below. You will see the link to where you can find this product. Please also subscribe to my channel and also click that like button. It all helps me and I will see you all in the next video.